Hey, welcome back. I'm just getting ready to give Betty here a much deserved oil change. Good thing I have this to help me. Unfortunately, there's no manual for credit cards or how to properly use other people's money. Loans, lines of credit, credit cards, they're all easy to use. But when you consider the fact that the average Canadian family owes more than $20,000 on cards and credit lines, not including mortgages, well, paying them back can be a real pain in the you-know-what. Look, I'm not here to lecture, but if you're like many people, you can probably use a little help when it comes to dealing with credit, so you're not faced with a mountain of debt each and every month. Here are some quick and easy tips to make sure you don't wind up on the wrong side of that mountain. One, only use lines of credit for assets that hold their value. If there's no value, just use cash. Sure, some people like using cards for everything so they can build their points. And that's great if you can pay off your card every month without incurring all those interest charges. If not, it's best to stick with the assets rule. Two, speak with your financial institution about paying more than interest every month on any balances. Best case is to make these payments automatic. Three, lines of credit are usually lower cost loans. In other words, their interest rates aren't as high, so any money you take out will be cheaper than most other credit options. Four, you can always set up a line of credit and not use it. Think of it as your emergency fund. Five, there aren't any fees for credit lines. If you have your house as security, you may need an appraisal. But if you do all of your business with one financial institution, the cost may be waived sometimes. Six. Pay the principal on all loans as quickly as possible. When you do, you'll shell out less on interest, which makes borrowing a heck of a lot cheaper. See, it's not so difficult when you have a plan. And that especially goes for credit cards. These little devils are really easy to lose control of, but again, when you've got a plan, you can make sure you're the one that stays in control. Here's a quick tip. Avoid using cards for things like going out for dinner and entertainment. Before you know it, you're left with a pile of debt that sure isn't very appetizing. Worse still, when you allow your debt to get too big, you start missing payments. And that affects your credit rating. Which really sucks, because you need a good rating. If you don't, you can be rejected for a mortgage, pay more for a loan, or even have a negative impact on your employment. You can find out what your score is at Equifax.com. Once you get your score, you can check it over with a financial advisor to make sure it's accurate. Well, I hope you got some useful information from our little talk. As always, you can get even more tips and resources at northernknowhow.com to make sure your finances purr like Betty over here. Excuse me. Uh.